Hello, welcome. It's almost hard lord time. Bo is still on tour with Harm's Way, and I've still got some Ronald McDonald on my face. So while we can't get you a brand new episode, we still can present you this very special extended mini with Isaac Hale of Knocked Loose. Enjoy. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Mini Hard Lore. How you doing, Colin? Doing great. We are live from For the Children Fest in southern, sunny Southern California. And I'm here with my very dear, dear, young head friend. You killed that intro, by the way. Thank you so much. Who I adore. Thank you so Isaac much. Hale. Thank knock you loose. Inclination. Weapon f***ing oh, X. Yeah. Edgeman, three Edgeman. Along with Lord knows, however, many other projects. There's a couple. There's a couple. couple, Two or three. God knows. Uh, Dare I say a modern Sean Martin. How you doing? I'm doing great. Having a great time. How was the set today? Uh, It was great. There was a a moment where a a crowd member basically jumped into the drums, which meant that a good half of the song was just toast. Excellent. But other than that, I'm sure Mills loved it. Yeah, he loved it. He had a great time. (laughs) Yeah. You, me, and Lumpy yes. are in a group chat. Yes, we are. It's called The Gimmick. Yes, it is. It's dedicated to a certain item that the Cheesecake Factory holds. Big fan. Does he know about this? He knows. I'm, 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 You're aware. I'm aware of the lore, Okay, you. but I don't know the depth. Okay. <laughs> it starts in what, 2018? 20, well, yeah, the, when was that tour? Yeah, it was 2018. Yeah. 20, yeah. 2018. Knock Loose Headliner. It w- Tell me about the gimmick. <laughs> okay, so you have... It starts really with Every Time I Die. It does start really with Every Time Andy I Die. Andy and Mitch from Every Time I Die loved the, the flattened pizza. Yes, uh, pizza do. Chicken pizza style, I think. What do they call it? It's. It, I think it's just chicken pizza chicken, style. Chicken parm pizza style. That's what oh, it is. Oh, I get that all the yeah. time. So that's the gimmick. Andy didn't know what it was called. He said, ah, give me the chicken gimmick. Yeah. And that's what it became. Okay. We started getting it constantly. And then we toured together, and I think we got it. Oh, I actually, since I started ordering it, I've gotten it a hundred percent. I've never not gotten it when I go to Cheesecake Factory. That's true. Yeah. People will try. What sucks is that it's such, a, as you guys both know, it's such an expansive menu. There's it's nothing a, bad. But on I'm menu. so dedicated yeah. to this one item that sure. I will get it every time. And every wow. time we get it. We send a picture. I substitute the noodles. Oh, he's got customization pan- which you'll love. Yeah. I do penne noodles. Oh, th- is that your favorite noodle? Spaghetti? Probably. I'm a rigatoni, Moni. Lo- I like rigatoni. rigatoni. It's my favorite. I, I like mean, it's w- just kind of... It comes with spaghetti. Big penne. It yeah. comes with spaghetti normally, but I like linguine. Linguine would be good on it. A little linguine thicker. Linguine would be good, but linguine. I listen, I'm... I'm I've got my order already. I'm not we've, changing. I, yeah, we've no, seen no. it with white we've, sauce. Yeah. We've seen it with red sauce. We've seen it with different noodles. It's every time you get it, you send a pic to the group chat okay. with the location. Okay. Yeah. And then just like a great mix. Do you today, get it? And it's too? years old. I, so, yeah. I mean, so at first I got that thing. It was like, oh, so much food. Could only eat half to, to three fourths of it. Sure. Now I'm down in it every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And cheesecake. So that's like a 4,000 <laughs> calorie meal. Easy. That, it, it's and honestly fucked up that they put them calories on the menu. Yeah, yeah fuck off. I don't need that. Give me the give but me the censored menu. I don't give menu. a fuck. Like if I'm in that mood, like I'll do that. I'll eat the cheesecake and then I'll go to a movie after and get popcorn. But you're a awesome. slender lad, which you've we been, did. You've clearly so, been blessed. So I eat once a day, but that meal is huge. Oh man. Every, what time does that, that normally happen? Usually between five and seven p.m. Before that, I'm just... <laughs> you're just He's just the opposite. Oh, would, oh you're a breakfast guy? I would be... <laughs> when you I'd wake be up, mean to When you wake up, me. do you want to eat food? It depends on the day. Like a weekday, if I'm... No, generally I eat for the first time around noon, but I've done like a lot before. If I, I... I fast every day until about five when I'm off work. Exactly. Oh every day. I, well, this doesn't count for you. You wake up at two. I don't need this from you guys, you know? Finally. It doesn't change the fact that I eat at five. Yeah, you That's wake up at two, it doesn't matter. Me, I'll wake, up, later. I'll wake up at nine or ten, and the thought of food will make me throw Really? It. I hate it. 
So I'll just chug so water. So this is all the day. secret: starve yourself for about seven or eight yeah. hours. Have every an day. eating disorder. Yeah, <laughs> that is yeah. literally a disorder. <laughs> what is no? People have intermittent told me. fasting is not. See, that's not intermittent me, fasting. Okay, sure it is. I've one heard, meal a day at five p.m. is not intermittent. I've, fasting. Okay, I will snack. Okay, is your beef if with you, it? Is your beef with it that it's not until five, or that that's the only? No, meal? my beef with it is you're saying you eat every twenty-four hours. No, because I'll eat after that too. Oh, no, okay. That's, it's not you said that's one meal. You said you eat one meal a day. But that's but a snacks. Meal. Oh, yeah. oh, that makes sense. Snacks. Snacks. Okay. Snacks. So you are intermittent fast. Yes. You what? eat between the hours of 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. Basically. Yes. What is your cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory? Do you have a go-to? Uh, I, I, I switch because it's okay. It's okay because I need to. Yeah. Um, s'mores is up there. Interesting. Oh, wow. S'mores is up there. Red Velvet's up there. Wow. You know what the most fuck the one that makes you hate yourself the, the most the is Oreo? the Cinnabon one. Oh. Because Cinnabons make you hate yourself already. God, yeah, you're, they're so good. You're eating yeah. a fucking a burrito size yeah. sheet. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Straight uh, up. I'm a banana cream guy. Yeah, you're oh, wow. fresh like banana cream. Exquisite. It's yeah. really, really the nice. The vanilla bean is, I think. Yeah, you're a classic. Yeah. Has, have either of you? Had just the standard yeah. cheesecake. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Is it great? I think it's the I lowest. Feel, I think it's the only one I have. It's the healthiest one. It's the healthiest one. I'm never getting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. I like uh, it because it's like, oh, it's only 700. I'm the good. birthday yeah. celebration one is it's also surprisingly good, dude. I don't birthday like birthday cake usually, but it's, it. the birthday celebration cheesecake is cool. Very good. That one's like thir- 1,200, I think. One of my fondest memories is we were playing. I love that you know. Oh, yeah, soundstage yeah. or something in Baltimore. Yeah. On your tour. Yeah. And I went to the Cheesecake Factory, got the sugar-free cheesecake with the sugar-free whipped cream, which they have, because I was doing keto at the time. Sat next to PacSun, just eating. Just watched your set. It's ultimate vibes Beautiful on, on the KL Tours. Guys. Love it. You Great know, vibes. nowadays, hardcore is changing rapidly. Not Bands like Knock Loose are at the pinnacle of it. Everybody wants to be Knock Loose, but nobody wants to do what Knock Loose did. Mm. What does that mean? You grind it. We did do that. You grind it, and people yeah. don't really see that. They kind of became they become aware of you at this. They're like, oh, they're headlining the Worcester Palladium. That's crazy. Like, yeah. wow, they blew yeah. up overnight. Not really. Yeah. And and I like that you have like if if a guy leaves the band, like Nico yeah. joining the band, he was a grinder. Yeah. And, uh, and Brian is right. saying that's Dude, why you picked him. That, you didn't want some hired gun. That poor guy played in this awesome band that no one cared about for like eight years. What band? This band called Church Tongue. Okay. It was just like a band from yeah. Indianapolis that was fucking. It was and Indianapolis like mis- is close, brother. It sounded sound kind of like Misery Signals, okay. but it was just like, it was like, it was moshy, but also nerdy. And yeah. just like, we saw them play so many times to just nobody. I became aware of Knocked Loose because on a Code Orange tour, we played, what's the place in New Albany? The production house. Uh, it New was Albany Production House. Is, is that it? Yeah. Where, there was an LDB there one year? Yes. Okay. Uh, we played there. Mm-hmm. Knocked Loose opened or played before Harm's Way did. Um, everyone lost their fucking minds. New Albany's right outside of Louisville. Everyone lost their... All. All. Everyone lost their minds. Big walkout. And us and Code afterwards were like, who the fuck was that? Wow. Who are these fucking kids? Like, what's going on? This is crazy. Like, people straight up went insane. You know what that's called? Revolution, brother. It's straight up. Fast forward, 2020, yes. March, we are robbed oh. of a perfect tour. What was the tour? What was the lineup? Dude, Madball, Knocked Loose, Harm's Way, Bus, Europe. <sighs> robbed. in a Russian band, I think. A Russian thrash band. A Russian thrash band, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were going to be on a bus, and much yeah. like us... Knock loose are like doers. They love to explore, take a pick, get some food. Much get some like coffee. us, meaning harm's way. Much yes. like harm's way. Because I'm not like you. I'm not a do stuff guy. Yeah, that's. Fine. I'm a horizontal monster. He can hang out with Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. yeah, exactly. Oh. You can hang out with. Yeah, you can <laughs> hang out with Kevin. Play magic. Yeah, I, I dabble. Okay, <laughs> I'm a plane. I walk the plane. That sounds great. <laughs> you know, and uh, that kills me. Yeah, it, it it just bums me out. Here's the thing. Whenever that tour was discussed, none of us gave a shit about the shows that we were at. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't we about like, the tour. Oh, this isn't about that. Yeah. We were just, 
we sharing were a bus with straight up away. giddy to be on a bus with our boys. Eating some fucking goulash and yeah, some yeah. fucking late night falaf. Yeah, having that hard bread at the venue. And <laughs> hard bread. Hard, hard bread, bread at the end of the... Uh, in that moment, the hard bread is like, thank God. Dude, I kind of I kind of love the hard love bread. The if it's between it. the hard bread and some soft curry, I'm yeah. going with the You'll hard walk bread. into a venue and there'll be like a pretzel there. And it's yeah. like, Dude, God. the one pretzel? And one it's mine. one <laughs> cucumber. I take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take that mine. shit. Yeah, yeah, it's like first thing in the morning. Love the get, one cucumber. You ever get breakfast in Germany and it's those round hard rolls and then just like various jams and jellies and like that's it? Yeah, I don't fuck with that. I just told you I don't eat till five, dude. <laughs> He's done. The thought of breakfast is gonna Come make on. him throw I'm up. Yeah, you're gonna make me puke, dude. What's going on? So, so that means if you're going to Waffle House, yeah. you adhere to the rules that you can't eat there before 11 p.m. I mean, yeah. 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 I I didn't I didn't know people went That's a lie. I I've, I've had Waffle House for in breakfast before. Yeah, yeah. But that just sounds insane. To yeah. Me. I don't I don't think that's real anymore. Hey, I don't it, I, I don't refuse to, I refuse to believe that they open until like Agreed. midnight. You are a crazy riff machine. Thank you. And I mean that in the best possible way. Appreciate that. What gives you the right? How do you do that? <laughs> I don't just, I'm so sorry. You, you play, just stay you play busy every day. No, no. But it's because I don't play guitar every day because sometimes I'll do a four month tour mm. and I'll be like, hey, maybe I don't mm. pick up the guitar yeah, yeah. after this because I used to play more instruments. Like I used to play drums and shit. Yeah, I used to be right. good at drums. Yeah, and you then were. I started touring so much that I play them once every six months now. And dude, that that double bass. Pedal, goes away. It goes away. Oh, really? It goes you lose that. Away. Interesting. So now I'm just trash. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I, it, I'm less excited about playing guitar every day than I'm, am more about like doing the voice memo riff thing and then putting that down. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm so half. Down. God. Yeah. The because amount of being able to demo stuff now and like, bas- basically, what I'm stoked about is like hearing it in my head and then putting it. Down. Immediately, so you and then I'll have just to wait to you two right, right now. Yeah. I used to have to wait two years for that. Yeah, and now the Kurt Blue drum pack. Yes, and Taylor's fucking tone hub thing. I've been using the same shit for ten years, and I just I have a song in my head. I put it down, and I'm mosh in my living room, <laughs> and that's what I do. Because I, I know you're, so and whenever throughout the process of you making the Inclination record, yeah, you would post those videos of like a really good sounding pre pro demo. Yeah. And I was always so jealous because yeah. I couldn't, I didn't know how to program drums yet. Now I figured. Are you out. on? Are you there? Are you on the train now? Oh, you oh got, yeah, you oh, got yeah. it. I got the any any of the wrestling songs I've done. Those are programmed. So Sick. that's like all my laptop, and then a mix by another guy, Brian Batiste. Shout out Brian, yeah. he's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's, love, I'm mo- I'm moshing to the the Hardler intro. <laughs> that's, See, that's that's it. Program. That was I him. knew that it. Was my MacBook. I knew it. You MacBook and I also records. we share a deep, deep love. Of a band, yes, we do. That we made a podcast about. We have a over, podcast. Over there the are pod- pandemic. You know, Metallica podcast. Yes. Well, the How I- many eps? Two, three, two or three, three. The idea was start with, <laughs> and we were almost there, and we were like, almost we there. were very close to it. Happening. Start with hit the lights, first song ever, and then what's the newest song? Oh, talk about the two, and then work your way to the middle. But then by record, right? So then the, the episode two is uh, uh, fight fire with fire. Yes, and then. The second to last song on the, I, we, it's an insane. You're still idea. working on the concept. Yes, but we're it's getting an insane there. idea. Maybe not festival pitch it's, it up. No, it's just high art. Oh, okay. It's just like only get, certain people get it's it. concept. Right? Yeah, yeah. But we, we, I mean, we talked for an hour about these songs, just about like, and it, it was, and it was all good. <laughs> Influences. Was, I had so what is it much called? Fun. Lyrical contact. Well, uh, Phantom Lords. Yeah, Phantom Lords. Phantom Lords. It's pretty good. Yeah. Check it out. Hard it, we didn't do anything with it, but it's, it's just shelved is all yeah, it is. It's just oh, it exists and it's not out there? Yeah. So you yeah. can't check it out. You can't check it out. But what if we gave them the exclusive? In the description of this video <laughs> is bo- the first two episodes I of haven't, the podcast. I, we would have to redo it. I'll mix them. We, so now, if we did it now, yeah. it would be incredible. Because yeah. it was already pretty good and we didn't know what the We didn't know what we were doing. doing. You know, yeah. like you it was a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to... Co- producer, I'm the producer. Yeah, executive producer. <laughs> Not Fest presents Phantom Lords, <laughs> Phantom Lords, a Metallica podcast. By Not Fest, by Hardler. Yeah, but right. yeah, it's yeah. the best band in the world. Yeah, best band. Period. Like, 
Not close. Best band in the world. Um, I would I would genuinely say the most influential American band. I'm not gonna argue that. I, I would say I, I don't know uh, for me it's Dying Fetus first, <laughs> then then Metallica probably. I mean, F- if you think Fetus isn't listening to those Metallica riffs, brother, you got. It. Yeah. Uh, no, D- Fetus is listening to Death Threat. And, yeah. And twenty and twenty five to life yeah. became. Yeah. I mean, they they covered Next Step Up. Yeah, exactly. It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing about you. Yeah, you can up? fucking sing. I like, can't. What's, what's your problem? problem? Well, I don't. I not. I. I don't think I could. No, sure, but you can. You I could, could try. You didn't. You didn't. Not just now. I I you could it. front that a hardcore band. Good. I've been and often guest spot for bands. So, so pe- people make fun of me for that. Why? What's up? Because I'll d- I'll sing so much for other bands, and they'll just be like. Can I tell a story real quick? Of course, Absolutely. dude. That's, that's what literally what we're doing. It's a great story. I was on, uh, I was on stage for uh, Hands of God show, mm-hmm. uh, LDB 2020, and I I did like a guest spot the the day before, and then uh, like one of the guys was like, "Hey, you should do this spot today." So I'm just like chilling next to the mic, getting all amped up for the spot. Like you know, sets going off, whatever. Jared is right there, their homie. Uh, and he just like right before I'm about to go on, I grab the mic, I grab the mic, and I like I'm about to go on. He just looks at me and he looks at the mic and he goes, "Another one." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like Jared Stoser. Just yeah. he is like a stoic assassin. Yeah, mm. he'll get you like your like your brother. Like my brother's an assassin. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Um, I want to be. I want to sing for a band. You, I mean, why not? I'm sure you. I will. don't even know what that band sounds like. Though. Right. What do you want it to sound? But like? you, I, I like so many things. I like everything. You got to growl. There's very few music that I don't like. Do you have one that you just can't stand? <laughs> uh, like a salad music. Yeah. yeah. Reggaeton we discovered Dude. recently. So okay, <laughs> I love Daddy Yankee, but so, other than that, I'm out. I don't like to cut, cut, yeah, cut, 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 yeah. cut. Yeah. That's, regga- that's, that's reggaeton. reggaeton. I don't like it. We were in a, a Lyft or an Uber in Boston going to a pizza place for like 45 minutes, nonstop. Yeah. And it's a radio station where it's and like... And here's the thing. I appreciate the, the culture. The cultural thing. Yeah, it's not for so me. I get awesome. it. Of course, they, it's not That's me. what they want. They want duka 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 duka. Yeah. And I like when it's fast. I like when it's like... Yeah. I'm down with that. But it's like this, the goal in reggaeton is the <laughs> same song. Like right. I got to do what the other guy did. But yes. I'm gonna yeah. say I'm gonna say something even crazier. We played yeah. Puerto Rico once, and I, I can't. I think it may have been Breeding Grounds. And instead of the D beat, Chris like joked like. He like. Did you turn around and smack him in the head? No, it was. Isn't it, was it great. funny how people cheered? How reggaeton like, is <laughs> almost do ka do do ka do ka yeah, yeah, yeah. And that oh that <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> You take that bad boy, speed it up, or slow it way down, and I'm. Or do cut do cut do cut do cut. Yeah, listen. Yeah, all the do to cause I'm with. No, I'm with you. I'm with you there, hundred percent. But I get tone just needs double bass, maybe. Yeah. Let's work on that. Yeah, I hear it. Hard. Yeah, I hear it. Little flamenco. That's the band that you sing it. Yeah, we'll link and build. Yeah, you're the new Daddy Yankee. Daddy Yankee with double bass is is Isaac. Hard Lord presents reggaeton with double bass by Phantom Lords. Yes, by Phantom Lords. <laughs> presented, by Presented, yeah. by Presented by Nafis. Presented by Nafis. Funded by Nafis. Yeah, good shit, man. A slipknot Not, joint. <laughs> so how how long was Knock Loose a band before you guys were kind of seeing a change of the tide? Oh, I have another great story too. Don't let me forget the first the first time we met. Oh yes, we yeah did. yeah yeah. So sorry. Um, yeah. So we started in. 20 so me and the guys were jamming in multiple iterations for years sure. and that was like 2012 2011 Jesus Christ. shit type and i was like a kid like yeah. middle school eighth grade but they were all older middle um, school eighth grade like oh, man. and then we start we played our first show in 2014 even though we were jamming for years before that you had to figure yourself and out. none of the so- like those songs aren't even what we ended up releasing like it, we spent a whole year doing nothing and it wasn't until 2015 when we actually got the like the sound and everything 2014 released the record 2015 started touring i asked my parents i only needed like one credit left uh. to tour and i was like hey 
like you guys know this is what I'm trying to do. I've been trying to do it since I was a kid. Like, can I just finish online and just go do it? And they were like, yeah. Wow. So then we just had this dude that just like booked us for a straight year. And then we did, I think we did 10 tours in wow. 2015. Holy yeah. shit. And they were like the same areas. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. We played. You were kind of famous for doing <clears throat> Midwest. We would do the same thing. Midwest. And we, would do, we would do like Northeast and we, we, we hit all the spots and it would get to the point where it's like, I remember when we played like White Oak and Van Nuys. Mm-hmm. We played White Oak, and the flyer for our next White Oak show was on the wall. So. And we were like, hey, like if you guys like this <laughs> over there, we're t- coming back. It's, like, crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy to me that, that it, like, White Oak is, your, is Knocked Loose's era. Because it was like... It, it was. White Oak was not around long. It was a goaded It was incredible. Movie. And that feels like days ago. Yeah. yeah. But in reality, that was two records ago, for God's yeah. sake. But that was, that was uh, about 10,000 cap. Ago for knocked loose. Yeah, and and like, <laughs> but we didn't start. It was like all who that touring who, and shit. Who saw something in you and was like, "Hey, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna make it happen in a way that you do not re- know." You mean like possible. who in the band was like there, or what, who outside? Or like, what what pure noise somewhere? You know. Yeah, was was it pure Jake noise? Jake Z, Jake Zimmerman, you know, mm-hmm. uh, who books us. In the states to this day, us as well. Was the first guy to be like, "Yo, this band's pretty sick." He used to book like Long Island Fest, yeah, and he booked that thing called Mixtape Fest, and he put us on it. So we worked with him first, and then Pure Noise got involved right after that, 2016, and then we went no manager for like years, yeah, and kind of a terrible idea <laughs> because it, we stressed ourselves that, out a I lot. Mean, the, the bigger you get, the, yeah, the more Paxson was trying yeah, to yeah. fucking handle it himself and. My God. The first time we <coughs> met, mm-hmm. we hadn't met. And we were doing, it was Every Time I Die, Knocked Loose, Harm's Way, Eternal Sleep. Us and Sleep had toured together, we're boys. We're also always going to be sharing dressing rooms kind of a thing because of the two over this right? story. Yeah. We were told, uh, uh, also Travis from Eternal Sleep is like obsessed with tone, always brings two full stacks. Four piece band, two full stacks, okay? That's crazy. Maniac. Yeah, maniac style. And we were told through a game of telephone, no one from them, through a game of telephone, that Knocked Loose is insistent on playing on their own cab. So that means the back line is every time I die, Knocked Loose, and then th- the full stacks, which means Harm's Way is playing on a f- square foot of stage at some shows. And we're pissed. Mm-hmm. We think. And I love you. We think that they're being kind of prima donnas because at this time you guys were popular and we assumed wrongfully. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. own up to this to this day. Everyone does. And they show up in Brooklyn the first day of the tour where we're all together. And us and sleep are like, all right, like we're going to give them the business. We're going to tell them like, hey, you need to use these cabs or you need to talk to every time I die and use their cabs because otherwise blah, blah, blah. I think it was you. It may have been Pac. I don't remember exactly who talked to who, but someone from Knock Loose was Before literally like... anybody could say anything. They were, we, we were like, hey, so the caps, blah, 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 and they were like, oh, we would love to not use our caps. We would love to yeah, not load... Who the fuck Who wants it? to load cabs <laughs> out of a trailer? Dude, cabs are f- it's, a lie. It's to amazing begin. to think if we were like that. Can the you cur- imagine? Our own cabs. Dude, yeah. the, like, the, cur- thinks the, that. the curtain of like, uh-oh, we might have a problem went... And we immediately... Like, we're fine. Like, yeah. Oh, we're we're scumbags for even thinking. And that we did like, apo- we apologize night of because we were children. Yeah, yeah. When I met him, he was nineteen. Yeah, I was a child. I don't want to load in that. And cat. he's in the pit for harm's way all the time. Yeah, and, sure. and yeah, and then later that tour, he's getting me in trouble for moshing too hard to fantasy. See, on stage. <laughs> you still played fantasy yeah. on that. We made them do it. Maybe for one nice. day. Nice. You know, it's maybe one, it's one of those ones we can throw in, but. But it's yeah. also a song that people only want to hear the Dude, intro. More, there's it's a hard. It's intro. funny because <laughs> there's another hilarious story about that show about that night with Brian and, and James. Brian, oh, I'll sell this tell this real quick. It. Please do. Brian, You're, so we we headlined LDB mm-hmm. and then drove straight to Brooklyn. So it was like finished. Got out of the got out of the fucking venue, LDB venue, like one a.m. Then straight home, straight overnight drive to Brooklyn. Mm. We don't end up getting to Brooklyn like after doors. After doors. 
So we're freaking out. Obviously, it's New York, so there's no parking. Anything. So we pull up in the middle of the road, and Brian's just trying to get in the door. And I can just <laughs> picture him being like, hey, He's got no laminate. Dude. Yeah, he's like, This is long hair, Brian, yeah, too. Long hair, long hair show. smoker, yeah. Brian. So, hey, we're so Brian line. goes up to the front. You know, there's this big security guard. You're going to love it. Yeah, this big security guard. (laughs) This fucking huge ass security guard. And Brian's trying to tell him, like, yo, I'm on the tour. Like, what the, like, I need to get in here. Like, please, we need to get our laminates. We need to load in, whatever. And uh, James just happens to be passing by. (laughs) And this security guard doesn't believe Brian because he's just some, like, scrawny guy that hopped out of the van. And then, and he sees that James has a laminate. And so he's like, yo, like he grabs James and he's like, yo, do you like this dude says he's on the tour? Like, do you, do you know if this guy's on the tour? And James looks him up and down and was just like, I've never seen this kid in my life. No way. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And then walks in the door and Brian's just like. What day of tour is this? The first, oh, first okay. one. Yeah, we we had not met yet. We're having. That's why it's funny. While this is he's happening, right. we're having the conversation he about the cabs it. upstairs. Yeah, and James will not lie. Unbelievable. James is James story. is honest, Abe, and also, he's telling the security guard because he doesn't want to get in trouble for state tour. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't know that kid. I thought that you were gonna. St- st- I thought that you were gonna tell the story of me moshing to. Harm's way at Barbecue Fest 2013 oh and taking a where picture. Was, where was Barbecue Fest? Louisville. Owensboro, outside of Louisville. Owensboro, Kentucky, and I yeah, had to. That's Owensboro. Bro. Yeah, don't dude, fucking, that's different. Excuse me. Uh, that's and amazing. I had to take a picture with one of my favorites. It, it's a carnival, James. James it, it, it's a it's a carnival. Okay. You know, a fair. Sure. There's a fl- uh, there's a flat yeah there's a oh, flatbed. After J- loose? James and I ate. Fried Oreos. This is pre knock oh. This is. Like, oh, okay. I was a child, child. There's a flatbed that bands set up on. Okay. Harm's Way plays. There's dirt in the air. He's moshing. It, it was actually a good set. It was a great It was show. nighttime, so it was yeah. cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Ringworm headlined. Oh, it was that tour? Yes. yes. No, no, no. Oh. No. Wait, pre. Ringworm headlined. Pre. Oh, that's cool. With the Confederate drums. Oh. They were there, yeah. dude. That's an infamous drum set. I remember that set very, that ringworm set very well because yeah. they were playing some new shit. Yeah, like the first couple songs were new, and everyone's just kind of standing there. And Furnish just goes, "You guys waiting for mosh parts?" <laughs> and everyone just goes, "Yeah." yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they play, and then they play like, like "Birth Is Pain." Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and, and I'm fucking. Oh. So Isaac met James and took a picture. Wow. And I, 2014? Plant the picture here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture it. here. I'll get it to you. <laughs> 2014, maybe? Yes. Around then. No, 13. 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 13. Yes. I, you're absolutely right. And yes, um, in 2019, yes. we did a collaborative shirt that With, says, oh. yeah, baby. It says, wow. become a James, and it has their picture on the back. Yeah. Wow. And it says, knock loose in our logo. Fantastic. Fantastic shirt. Uh, over f- how many of those did you print? Not not many. Not one, that many. One, one like maybe like fifty. Run. Flew off the small shelf. small oh, run. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so funny because it doesn't. You, it's not like people can really tell it's me. So I yeah, I think yeah, about it, it all the time. Like I was him. just like, who's this guy? He's kind of got a swoop. <laughs> He's got some cheeks on him. He's a young boy. Pardon this interruption. This episode is brought to you by Mad Vintage. Mad vi- boy is it ever. And you got an excellent shirt on there, Bo. Once again, our interests align, my friend. We are who we are. We got these both from Mad Vintage. Mm-hmm. And you can do the same thing. You can, if, you know, you see, you're going to see Metallica, Sepultura, Morbid Angel, Danzig, Misfits, all kinds of stuff on there. Everything we like, you're going to see on there. Lots of hardcore, lots of, like, good sizes, an important yeah. thing. And uh, if you use code HARDLORE15, all in word, HARDLORE15, you get 15% off. Site wide, site wide, and some of them shirts are pricey for good reason. So that's going to mm-hmm. be 30, 40, 50 bucks off. Think about it. So do go it over to his website, go to the Instagram, take a look. Yeah, they're down two Morrissey and two Typo shirts, and they're going to be down three, four, or five <laughs> as, every time they go up. So don't you dare think about buying those. Use that code for something else. Mm-hmm. If you know what's good for you. 
Yeah. You had long hair for a long time, right? I did have long hair for a are long you, time. Are you voluntary skin hair or involuntary? Uh, so it started going, oh. but I wanted it gone anyway. I hate Let hair. Let me see your head. It's beautiful. Look at that. That is a great, beautiful, it's iconic. bald head. It's iconic. Yeah. It's cool. It, it's like a different... You you got to act different on stage though when you got the the shaved head. The hair is, ah, yeah, hair no is hair. a prop. Because I used to be yeah. like windmill crazy guy, yeah. and now that I'm bald, and I just I just try to scare people. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Sean Martin has taught us very well that it, a bald guy can headbang harder but, than uh, anybody. Uh, yeah, d- don't me. yeah don't fuck with me. I, I did the, I did the Zach Wild yesterday. The like side to side hair. Dude, thing. I hate. <laughs> That headbang. You hate it? <laughs> Love Zach Wild. It felt good. A lot. I'm not going to lie, because it's not this. You know what's it's great? So I got the spike strap for dead body. I can't go to the side or I'm dead. You know so what you, you should ha- it's all get up for dead body? The bullet strap. That's what I got. So the bullets... Are cool. I like the I love the bullet belts and everything, yeah. but they're down. The spikes are up. Like this long. Yeah, that's more of a statement. <laughs> it's kind of dope it's for, sure. for yeah, sure. it's a statement. For Who's sure. doing that? Yeah, other than the guy's band who makes them. You I are true. the first person I've ever <laughs> met to have a spike strap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the second that I've met. So this is good. This is yeah, progress. barbecue fest. That that happened. Good shit. We got paid well. It was That's good. some dude. Barbecue fest is some lore. James was doing merch in a field with a flashlight. Oh, classic! Like it was yeah, they never thought they didn't think about that. No, they they didn't. They think. literally. It was so funny that they were just like, "Oh, eventually it's gonna be night." Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And the sun goes away. It was crazy. Are you gonna Are you gonna live in Louisville for the rest of your life? I. It would take a lot for me to not. Yeah. yeah. I just bought a house. Because Brian's here. Oh, oh yeah. Congrats. Pax, Pax on, yeah. Appreciate it. Can't wait to be in it. Oh, you can. Uh, it's one of those. I bought. Well, I bought it. And then left for tour for four months. You, so <laughs> that's the thing. Brian moved moved here. Yes. We hung out constantly for yes. about a week, and yeah. then he left for he left for Just war. He left gone. his he left he yeah. left his wife behind me. Yes. Yeah. Took his lover with him. Yes. Taylor. Yeah. Uh, so whenever I can have him back, I'm looking forward to that. But I, they they spent an astonishingly small amount of time in their Los Angeles apartment. Yeah, this year. it's very yeah, sad. It's uh, fucking crazy. Be so I barely saw him. Yeah. We were. It was like he and I had this grand plan where it was like, you know, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna get to know each other. We're gonna have a great time. We eat sparks flew. Yeah. <laughs> he met Zoe, my dog. Despite loved his him. loved him. His kind of sometimes gruff exterior he's a sweetheart he's oh a sweetheart. He's a, he's you a sweetheart. you all are guy. that's my favorite thing about you not loose is yeah. there a thing yeah are we brian says all the time he's like are we the hardest not hard band uh, i i think <laughs> like musically like honestly maybe that's because no one in not loose is scary maybe we're Absolutely. kindred in that way minus james james yeah. is scary if you don't know him yeah. he's an intimidating guy the rest of us and then I don't when think you know are. him yeah and then he's a goofball at, the, at this point it's like you and tsunami are kind of doing the like Except they mosh very I was well. going to say, man, Th- Theo's Theo, got me Theo in the face hard. a couple times. <laughs> he pits hard. So. Speaking of which, you went straight, and I want I want this to be said. Yes, you went hard. from inclination straight to the disgrace pit today. Yeah. I really respected that. I <laughs> went straight from the Knock Loose four-month tour, saw Madball the next day. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm here three days later. And that's that's something, and that's that is speaks to the authenticity mm-hmm. of you as a musician and a showgoer. And there's there's a couple guys and a couple bands that go out of their way constantly. You, Brian, your whole camp. When a new band comes out, or a ba- like, you guys know at this point. Hey, me posting this album is a beneficial a, thing. Uh, for an actual band. influencer. It's, it without helps. Without the stigma. Uh, and a lot of people in the positions that you're in don't use that. Yeah. So I, you know, we appreciate that. We have the community of of people that start new bands once a year. Well, we <laughs> love that. We appreciate the community. Hey. Like to me, it's like this is what I came from. So it's like whether or not it's like whether it's building a tour or like posting a record or like it's funny. Like some people will say that stuff to me like. Like, for example, like me moshing to disgrace. They'd be like, dude, it's so cool that yeah. you, yeah. like you, Isaac of Knockloose, were moshing to disgrace when to me it's like, dude. The I, best band ever. The, I've been yeah. thinking about seeing disgrace again for like seven years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, I'm such a fan of and the I music. And I think um, it's interesting that 
and I, I, I'm trying to word this diplomatically because I don't want to, but I, you lived it, so I know you know it. You were not embraced as a band. Knock Loose was no. not embraced by a certain scene. With you the had you had the grind for it, and, and then at, the, yeah. at one point it was just still, like, all right, fuck it. There's still some people that aren't a- down. Absolutely there is. And but, that's cool. But one thing I, I can tell you personally is like once that Every Time I Die tour happened, like we went full Team Knock Loose, like as a band. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I appreciate like that. our band loves you guys. Not even music. It's just like, as people, we know you're fucking real. And, and you this guys isn't are even this isn't even me, like, sucking off, knock loose. Yeah, you know. But it's like we do tend that does tend to happen. Yeah, it, band, it does. Band X is like real not down. Just take. I guess we're going out on tour with them. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then we tour. And then it, what's crazy is that it goes deeper than that. That used to happen to me. And because me and my parents' house, I was the house that housed bands oh. when they played Spinelli. Because I was at Spinelli sometimes three or four times a week just yeah. seeing shows. And then, like, X hardcore band would be there. And then be, they'd be like, hey, can we stay anywhere? And then people would be like, oh, you should stay at Isaac from Knock Loose's oh house. And they'd be like, oh, oh wow, house. really? Yeah. yeah. And then. Because they've tweeted some naughty things. Or yeah, something? or whatever. And then they'd stay and they'd be like, Oh, they would be. Like, oh, you like like hardcore. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. So and I'm weird. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yeah, I do. And then it's the same with bands. Like there'll be bands that were like, you know, like, oh, I just didn't know if you guys were like, dope or not. But then it's like, oh, dude, we're just like, guys. You do you ever know? get accused of being like industry plants? N- never gotten industry plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never gotten industry. Yeah, that there's, would be there's, crazy. there's physical proof that that, that they are. I, I know, but yeah. people are stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which industry? You know, the corn industry. I'm gonna start telling people that we are. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, like that's. I, mean, I what's, actually. What's Louisville's biggest export? I still don't. <laughs> Not loose. Jack Harlow. No. Uh, no, 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 like food. KFC. Oh, KFC. KFC. Is it say and, that, and Papa John's. Tell people that KFC planted you. <laughs> yeah. Like no. They made the KFC. PS5 I still don't. You play, met yeah. at the Yum Center. <laughs> and then, and yeah, then. I'll be like, I've actually never, it's all tracks. I've never played my guitar once. <laughs> I just um, that's great. cool. Yeah. Fuck, I had something, but I lost it. Oh, no, but but like, they they just, the last time I saw him, they had just, they were getting ready to play fucking Red Rocks. Yeah, that's crazy. So like, I, we did do that. Not, we're you're saying on, you're on some Primus shit now. Yeah, no, yeah. No. good for you. Yeah. How was Red Rocks? It's a seated um, venue, which is a little weird. Th- the act of playing it is awesome because yeah. you're there. Which, well, you the build up is awesome. Yeah. You're like, God, like there's that big ass rock, yeah. and <laughs> you know, and you're yeah. just like, holy fuck, like there's so much going on. It's so big, like prestigious, whatever. But you are playing to a seated venue. Yeah. You know, I'm so. Sure. Hell of a merch cut. And I'm here, sure. oh, oh, I had merch, straight merch cut for two months because it was vendor sell. Yeah, because for, for two you months. You can't do anything. And so, and what's funny about Red Rocks is the incline. Criminals. Is Criminals. Cr- the incline of Red Rocks is crazy. So. So you're really only looking at like the front three people. And then every once in a while, you'll look up and be like, oh, there's like 900 more wow. people here. We're Def, definite bucket awesome. list shit though, yeah. It was great. Yeah, it was yeah. fantastic. What's uh, what's your what's your Mount Rushmore? Your era of hardcore, you know? Yeah. What's the what are, what are the big four, where you were like, okay, this is who Isaac is musically in here. This is who I want to be of my era. Yeah, like this is imp- like not. I'm not talking like the Master Killers <laughs> and all that stuff. Like this is so hard for me. To say because I like everything. You really do. But like, as far I literally like everything. As far as bands that were important. Yeah. Like for me growing up, it was probably Midwest bands and bands like Chicago bands. Like I remember Weekend Nachos was really important for me growing up because I was just like, oh, it's like fast hardcore shit with a crazy breakdown, and they tuned to drop fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, (laughs) what could I? What could I, you know, yep. Harm's Way was huge yeah. for me growing up. Like, all that, you know, all the, like, and there, there's so much, though. I was into so much. Fucking your band. Oh, stop it. It's fucking great. Here's, you, can I t- tell a Twitching Tongues-related hardcore story? My dad, massive Twitching Tongues fan. 
was at the gig. Papa Hale? Papa Hale, massive Twitch wow. Contents fan. I showed it because I was, I went, me and my dad listened to music together. So he'll show me like old metal stuff. And then I'll be like, hey, there's this hardcore band that sounds like that. Uh -huh. My dad showed me who Power Trip was. Wow. <clears throat> wow. But Twitching Tongues is playing that Nelligan Hall show. Is that the Haybreed one? No, it was the fuck. It was the disgrace one. Nelligan Hall, Louisville, Twitching Tongues Disgrace, 2015 or 14, Whew. something like that. My dad's up front for a preacher man, See, and he's like, it, "Dude, it's coming to me." Yeah, he straight up got like knocked over. Oh wow! And people were like, because he's in a wheelchair. My dad's oh, a privilege. Wow. He's in a wheelchair, wow. and but he's like, he got knocked over. And people were like, oh, he's okay. And he's like, no, I'm, I want to be Yo, here. You know what's crazy? Yeah. I'm pretty sure after that set, we were in the back and we were like, yo, the fucking guy in the wheelchair, like, knew, like all the words to Preacher Man. Dude. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, he, that's that just vividly oh, yeah, struck man. me back. Yeah. Dude, he's, wow. That literally, was literally, Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> down, brother. Wow. He's down. Huge. I love that. Yeah. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. I, often, hail, I, I told you this, but you'll like this because it's similar. My mom bought a Twitching Tongue shirt on eBay. Yeah. And Leo, the old guitar player, sold it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Another it crazy Papa Hale back. story. Yeah. You know, uh, fucking Trypticon. It's like one of yeah. his favorite bands. Like really? Goats. Yeah. He knows. Damn, he, he, Papa Hale's He knows that Harm's Way is ripped off Trypticon. Yeah. He's literally been like, this sounds like that part. <laughs> and I'll be like, God, you you're so. Yeah. Boom, boom, <laughs> Straight boom, up. Tell your dad to keep his fucking mouth shut. <laughs> 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 All those bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah. Those are that's Tom G, brother. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Well, we're at minute forty here. Yeah, this is supposed to be a mini. You know, is there anything? Well, we talked about Cheesecake Factory. What yeah. else? What else after five p.m. are you into eating when Knocked Loose is on tour or Inclination? We call it the Golden Arches question. Okay, what's your favorite fast food place? A place that you would gladly pull over to eat at? Canes. Canes? It's probably he Canes. Is Very common. Probably I'm an OG. the first Caniac. Yeah, yeah. I'm an OG, OG Canes guy. I've thought about this question before. There's a couple answers, but Canes is probably the yeah. biggest. I, the biggest I could one. have I could have bet on that. I'm sure. like still I'm still a as far as stuff that's immediately available actually. Yeah. I like I'm still for some reason I still like Taco Bell, as in like I never fell out. Yeah, no. yeah. Like it, it never got real bad. ones were were loyal. It those, always those, one, those still loyal. Yeah, to Taco Bell. <laughs> but like I could talk about it forever. Yeah, about we could have a whole food conversation. But yes, but we Kane, can. We Kane, often do. Canes. Yeah. I'm a caniac. Okay, for sure. That's that. Those are probably the two most popular answers. Uh, Kane, it's Kane's like Taco Bell, McDonald's. McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm a McDonald's. I'm like a. A purveyor. I'm a, I'm so passionate about European McDonald's. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's great. It's great. Yeah. It's insane. It's the one thing they do right. When I asked, Brian privately told me that McDonald's is his answer to the golden arches yes. question. That it's like, yeah, I'll go to McDonald's. Chili cheese McDonald's. McDouble, buddy. Chili cheese McDouble. Chili cheese McDouble. What are you in Europe? Yes. Okay. Do you I've guys never. wait? Are you not privy to this? I'm not privy. Not I haven't privy. been there in a minute. Yeah, it's been a Germany long time. chili cheese McDouble. Wow. They I, also have a breakfast sandwich with the hash browns he on it. He would never know. He'll I, never I, be eating it. I'm just oh, saying. No, I will get it just at a different time of the, the day. The, the fact no, they, that we don't have it here is shocking to me. They have a breakfast sandwich with that. I mean, the fact hash brown. I mean, so I do not eat McDonald's in the states. Really? Yeah, I don't do it. I don't. I haven't That's in a okay. long time. <laughs> We're gonna be alright, and, and I know that I'm breaking your hearts right now. Yeah. But I haven't. I, to be honest, I don't eat that much fast food in the states. Even on tour? No. Really? What do you eat? What do you eat? I'm, I'm shit? look up the the spot. The guy. spot. Yeah. Well, you're now you get to tour places that have a spot. <laughs> yeah. But that was not always the case. Well, even if I even if there's not a sick spot. Yeah. Like I'm usually. Over fast food, I'm usually taking like, okay, there's Indian, like, okay. let's do it, or like, oh, there's Chinese. Were like, you like that when Knocked Loose was like really grinding before? Oh no, I yeah. used to be, I used to be, I used to just eat mac and cheese all day. Oh, <laughs> used to be, yeah. I'm with you there. Yeah, I just go to KFC and just get mac get and cheese. Get just a, a small mac and cheese, yeah. please. It's been a minute since I've had KFC. I'll get two yeah, large. Can, mac and I cheeses. can wait another minute until I have been KFC. A few Popeyes years. all day, dude. Popeye spicy chicken sandwich. I well, uh, see. I like the I like the regular ch chicken sandwich because yeah. it's it's a rare answer. I feel uh, like I prefer much the normal mayo yeah. versus the spicy mayo. Mm. Interesting. Of course. The last question. Yeah. 
when you're playing guitar on stage, who do you do? Who do I do? Yeah. Who are you doing? For example, uh, actually, I don't want to put a name in his head because no, no, no. we, we share something. Who do you do? It's the singer of Meshuggah. Cause uh-huh. I'm bald. Yeah. That's where I get all my face stuff. Got from it from. Cause he's on some like. <laughs> <laughs> you got to work with what you got there. Of yeah. And then, corn, is probably yeah. the biggest one. Not who has got one moves. I will say that. Well, like Nico moves now, dude. Nico. Who? Nico moves, and you move. He moves a lot. And Brian moves. Yeah. There's kicks. There's jumps. There's spins. Yeah. I love a spin. The, it's a young man's game. I like I like scaring people on stage is my favorite thing. You're and now that we play guy. we play to normies, sometimes yeah, you yeah. can really, they're like actually already kind of afraid, yeah. and so you can really freak them out mm-hmm. if you do some like crazy shit. Yeah. So that's what I do. <laughs> I res- so. but I respect a band, like you guys don't have to. You guys are at a point now where you can stand and play, and do your thing and get off stage. You're gonna sell merch. You're gonna do good. I respect the fact that you go off. I mean, that's cool. Why would you not? I could scare someone. Yeah, that's awesome. It's like the coolest it's Halloween every time thing you play. ever. That's, that's a great yeah. day. Like With riffs people, like these, people every liking day is it Halloween. is one thing, oh, but yeah. people being like, "Dude, I was I'm uncomfortable." Oh, that's, that's huge. Fucking yeah. amazing. That's yeah, that that makes them go home and listen to it. Be like, "This is the part that scared me." Listen, yeah, I can look at a guy. I mean, I got into hardcore because I was afraid. I mean, I saw like a cruel hand set, and I was like, "I'm very." It was like it was, it was, it was those were yeah. scary. Yeah. So it was like. The fact that I could like anyone could be front row and like look at a KL show and be like, this is, I don't know. Like that's full cool. circle that's kind of thing. thing yeah. Love probably Meshuga and Corn probably. And corn. Uh, that's <laughs> crazy. That's a, uh, they probably play together at some point. Yeah. In some capacity, a fest. Just fest. any bald guy that you've that's what I do. <laughs> I do I just just some bald guy. I'm gonna do the outro too. Outro me. This has been lovely. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have anything? Uh, we don't really know when these are going to come out. So, in a general sense, do you have anything coming up in twenty twenty three? Um, yes. Uh, Inclinations playing some shows because Kale's taking some time off. But look forward to me uh, footage of me moving into my house that I bought like six months ago. Excellent. You gonna live stream the whole event? Yeah, can't wait. Awesome. <laughs> can't wait to see it. Well, that about does it. We're gonna all go and watch Terror now. Yep. Hit the pit. This has been Mini Hard Lore from For the Children Fest. Thank you Mini so much. Mini Maxi Hard Lore. Mini Maxi, yeah. This one, this one's a medium. Yeah. Don't know. It's a sh- medium is what it is. This is, this is maybe a... Maybe. And I've put the audio up for this one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll double, see. Double dip. But we'll do it again sometime, and we can get real into food. Listen, I'll, I'll talk. You guys can talk about fashion. We, we, we do <laughs> both like a thing, don't You're we? both threadheads, for sure. We like a thing. Anyway, we're going to sign off now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.